Curious Joel's public hearing on plans to annex land from the town of Monroe went on as planned Tuesday, despite numerous pleas to postpone because of bad weather. The session was held to allow Monroe residents the chance to voice concerns about environmental impacts of the annexation. It's a fundamental lack of compliance with standard environmental and land use laws that are meant to protect the public health, safety, and welfare. And there's obviously the clear intent on the part of the village, if it takes over this area, to do high density housing at a level that I don't think people can even imagine. The village of Curious Joel submitted a petition to annex 507 acres of land from the town of Monroe. And recently, it was awarded lead agency of the environmental review process in that annexation. Village leaders say they need the underdeveloped land to expand and to provide desperately needed housing for its growing community. They say the goal of Tuesday's meeting was to allow them a chance to simply listen. Listen to the comments. We invited this scoping session. It's a voluntary session for people to give us their comments, what they feel the impact of the additional 507 acres into the village would have on the town as a whole. Many are against this expansion, including the group United Monroe, citing quality of life issues that could come from high density housing. Many who spoke at the meeting accused the village of showing no regard for the environment while also highlighting the negative impact the plan could have on Monroe schools. If the annexation happens, then there's going to be a lot of residents moving into our district that can vote in our school elections, could run for our school board. On Monday night, the Monroe Town Board made an announcement that resulted in this. Tuesday at noon. <laughs> That's because the public is demanding that they be present during Tuesday's vote regarding the annexation of more than 500 acres of land from the town of Monroe into the village of Curious Joel. If held at noon, that will not be the case. That's why the board agreed to switch the meeting time to the evening but only if the clerks of all three affected municipalities agree to keep their offices open beyond business hours. This is to ensure that all papers are filed by the mandated deadline of September 8th. I would prefer to have it Tuesday evening when the most people can be there rather than at a time when we would have less. We were unable to get in touch with the village of Curious Joel clerk, but Monroe Town Supervisor Harley Dole says that the clerk has expressed that he would stay open for as long as necessary. The village clerk has been, our town clerk has already agreed. As for Orange County Clerk Annie Rabbit, Dole's told Time Warner Cable News that attorney Michael Donnelly said he had reached out to Rabbit's office but had not heard back. We then contacted her, and she told me that no such communication was efforted. Rabbit says she has no problem staying open for as long as the meeting and vote requires. And as for Town of Monroe Clerk Mary Ellen Beams. If it comes to a meeting on Tuesday night at 7 p.m., Town of Monroe Town Clerk's office will be opened. According to the board, the clerks need to provide written agreements of their commitment to stay open late. That has yet to happen. So far, a location for the meeting has not yet been announced. In the town of Monroe, Bridget Syage, Time Warner Cable News. An emotional reaction to the town of Monroe's decision on the Curious Joel annexation proposal. Tonight, the board voting in favor of a 164-acre annexation. This coming after years of hotly contested debate on the issue. Our Bridget Syedge joining us now in Monroe with the latest. Hi, Bridget. Good evening, Saul. That's right. It's been an almost two-year battle, and tonight the Monroe Town Board voted to approve the annexation of 164 acres of land from the town of Monroe into the village of Curious Joel. Now, every board member, there are five of them, spoke briefly about why they made their decision, and then a vote was cast, four in favor and one opposed. More than a thousand people packed into the Curious Joel Banquet Hall to hear the outcome, many holding signs and repeating the now familiar chants of vote no and save Monroe. The petition calling for the annexation of more than 500 acres of land was taken off the table at the start of the meeting. Still many in the crowd clearly upset at the outcome while others roared out in approval. Town Supervisor Harley Dole says the vote was not an easy one but that he believes it to be the right one. I think it's time that we all stop for a moment and pause and realize that we have a lot of work to do before we can move forward with such an ambitious kind of a program that 507 acres would entail. And 164, big difference, you think? 164, when we go back, when we look, 
It's really about half of that. And now, as you can see, Harley Doles leaving the building, getting a round of applause from members of Curious Joel after he voted to approve the annexation of those 164 acres of land. Again, from the town into the village of Curious Joel, he, along with three others in the board, voted to approve it. Now, there is a 30-day window for any litigation to be filed. Members of United Monroe, as well as the county executive, say they are going to litigate. So this battle is far from over, to say the least. Saul, back to you. Okay, our Bridget Saez with the latest for us in Monroe. Bridget, thank you. More than a thousand people showed up to Tuesday night's highly anticipated annexation vote. With the hall well over capacity, for some, it was a fight to even get in. What the hell is wrong with you? You're hurting women! You're After brief statements from each member of the five-person town board, votes were cast. Aye. Four in favor, one opposed to the annexation of 164 acres from the town of Monroe into the village of Curious Joel. A petition involving the annexation of more than 500 acres of land was tabled at the start of the meeting. I think it's time that we all stop for a moment and pause and realize that we have a lot of work to do before we can move forward with such an ambitious kind of a program that 507 acres would entail. And 164, big difference, you think? 164. When we go back and we look, it's really about half of that. Members of the community say that an annexation of this magnitude would be a drain on resources. Some say the redrawing of school boundaries poses a threat to children currently enrolled in the Monroe Woodbury School District. There is no compromise in this situation. Um, as everybody knows, the 164 annexation is a compromise of the 507. That goes against any annexation laws that we've been studying. We want to have the whole 507 acre. We will fight for it. We will go to court. And if we don't win, we will create, incorporate a new village. Still, members of United Monroe say the fight is far from over. Oh, way far from over. We are going to court. Game on.